Welcome to a new edition of the Neon Jazz Interview Series with veteran jazz pianist and composer Yelena Ekimov. She talked about her new 2022 CD, I Am a Stranger in This World. It was released on her own L&H production label. This album is a new installment and a long-term musical project that began with 2018's Better Than Gold and Silver. And she again joins up with trumpeter Ralph Alessi and bassist Drew Gress, along with guitarist Adam Rogers and drummer Nashi Waits. We cover this album, world events, and so much more along with the future. Enjoy. All right, hey, thank you for taking a minute out for Neon Jazz. You're a regular around here. I think this is our third conversation. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, you bet. You know... I mean, I guess it goes without saying we're in a very extreme time on planet Earth right now. So I think probably having new music and I think probably for musicians, it's probably a really good thing to get that out into the world. And your new CD is I Am a Stranger in the World, which I guess just from looking at that, you know, I could draw my own conclusions. But how did you arrive at this title and what was kind of the, the vision for this project? Well, the title is um, actually a bit adapted quote from uh, Psalm 119. The original quote, of course, it's dependent on the translation, but it's, I am a stranger in this earth. Well, this means I'm a stranger in this world. So that's uh, uh, the quote from the Psalm because whole CD is another my second installment of the Psalms, Biblical Psalms, well, this time is just instrumental, but um, they are the same as a better, on a better than gold and silver album. I had like vocal CD and an instrumental CD. Uh, I, I haven't found the singers yet for this installment, so that's, I decided just to release instrumental this time. But that's uh, the Psalms, and uh, <laughs> the quote comes from uh, Psalm 119. I, I forgot what verse is it, but it's a huge psalm, and uh, it uh, is divided by uh, the letters of uh, the alpha. Uh, I think it's a Hebrew uh, alphabet, like that's, I think, Gimel, 119 Gimel. You, again, have assembled a wonderful cast of musicians around you. I mean, you have Ralph Alessi, Drew Gress. You know Joey Barron. I mean, there's there's a lot of people that are on this album. How did you assemble all of these power players, and how did it feel to have them all contributing to such a great album? Uh, this is uh, my way of uh, uh, my journey, my musical journey. I, um, I focus on uh, recordings, uh, not the touring, not the performances, but the recordings because I'm a composer. And I compose a lot, so I uh, I need to make sure. It, since it's a, a modern jazz format, I need uh, <laughs> I need the fellow musicians to help me to realize the sonic recordings. Uh, if it would be just a, a classical, I would, could just write it down and put it in a table. But with jazz, I, it has to be uh, it has to sound. It has to. Uh, uh, have contributions of um, uh, improvisers, their interpretations of my music. So that's the deal. <laughs> so I, uh, it's very important for me to uh, find the proper musicians. And I kind of like, depending on the project, I I think about who would be um, the best, what would be the best band for this project. And I go from there and uh, I approach those musicians, which I feel would really contribute the the best uh, for this pro- particular project. And uh, either way they agree or don't, but most of times they, they agree to work with me. So that's very exciting, of course, every step of it. Talk to me a little bit about what you hope the listener gets from this album. Depending on, of course, if uh, people who would listen to this album as the settings of the Psalms and they will dig into the words, um, then that's one thing, and I, I hope they will be very pleased. I think it's easy to follow, kind of uh, be, easy to hear the words behind the music if you follow the Bible. The people who don't, not religious people, you know, they. Um, I, I hope they will get this 
message anyway, the, the power, uh, powerful message from the music itself, which is based on spiritual, I guess, my spiritual connection with, with God through the Bible. I hope they will get the message anyway. <laughs> you know, I think the other part of this, and we've talked about being from Russia and what's going on right now, I would imagine space and music is probably going to be a very needed healer for a lot of people as we deal with what's going on over there. Yeah, I heard uh, from some of my fans that they listen to this album a lot. Uh, I made it available for a few people before release day, just from my friends, my close uh, like fans who, who've been friends. And they think that m- this music helps them to cope with the harsh time. And, of course, uh, considering all those like things that <laughs> have, be- have been going on in, in the world lately, the last several years, just terrible. This is really like we all maybe feel like strangers in this world now. Yeah, but I think it's kind of like the pandemic. I think there's a level of art that's going to help people through and it's going to give them hope as we move forward. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, so I think that's a, that's a big thing. So as we kind of move forward here, um Tell everybody about the album, where they can pick it up, and any live shows, any promotion that might be coming up. No live shows is pl- uh, are planned because, um, like I say, it's uh, especially now in these times, and I couldn't even go to Europe this year, last year, so I had to, uh, my Italian session, which I scheduled in Italy, I had to postpone several times, and finally... I decided to record it in different way. Like I recorded drums with Billy Hart in um, New York, and uh, a couple of weeks later or three weeks later, Paolo Frezzo and Ariel Thunderson recorded <laughs> in Italy <laughs> to, <laughs> to our track. So that's uh, uh, the travel for me uh, now is not possible because I cannot get vaccinated and because of health reasons, and so I, I'm kind of get stuck. Now, but I don't mind it. I I still work, keep working. So the album is going to be available everywhere, uh, on streaming, downloading, high res files, uh, and of course physical CDs. It's widely available, so uh, people can, if they want to, to listen to it, they will have the opportunity definitely one way or another. Yelena, hey, stay safe out there. Thank you again for taking some time out uh, to talk to the show. It's, it's been wonderful to catch up with you, and I certainly hope the world gets into a better place and your homeland can, um, there can be some peace in the world for sure. Yes, Joe. Thank you so much for uh, you, like, in, your interest in me. I appreciate that very much. Thanks for listening and tuning in to another Neon Jazz interview. We give you a bit of insight into the finest players and singers in New York City, Kansas City, and spots all over the world giving fans all that jazz. And thanks to our good friend, Yelena. She's been around on this show quite a bit. We always appreciate her time and music and story. If you want to hear more interviews, go to Famous Interviews with Joe Domino in the iTunes store. Visit Neon Jazz at YouTube.com. And for everything Neon Jazz, go to the neonjazz.blogspot.com. And for everything related to Joe Domino, go to joedomino.com. And if you feel like it, you can donate a few bucks to the cause. Until next time, enjoy the jazz, my friends. Neon Jazz.